Do you think this is cruel or just unusual punishment? A Dayton mother makes her son stand outside his high school holding a sign that says he skipped class and he got suspended. Tonight, our Elise Coulter gives you the lowdown from mom herself. Come on, we don't have all day. 18-year-old Anthony Palmer reluctantly stands outside Belmont High School in Dayton. You are not helping yourself at all. I can make you stand out here when you're not on punishment. His mother made him make this sign saying, I decided to skip my fourth period class. Now I'm suspended. Don't be like me. Go to class. Stay in school. I was looking for a way to make sure he understood not to do it anymore and so that he could feel what I feel whenever I get a call that he's been misbehaving. Palmer stood on the corner while his classmates walked by all the while holding the sign. All the kids who pass by who see this will say they don't want to have to do this either. She's dishing out some tough love. You can't learn if you're in the hallways. You're not learning the lessons. These are lessons that you're supposed to be learning to take you through the rest of your life. And he's sitting here playing around and skipping class. That's not going to help him succeed and, and learn how to make it in life. And hoping her teenage son learned his lesson. Do you think you'll ever do this again? No. Reporting in Dayton, Elise Coulter, Fox 45 News. Palmer stood outside his high school for at least an hour. His mother says he's a senior and hopes after this he'll continue his education. We asked our viewers on Facebook what they think of mom's punishment. Take a look. Carlene says, I think whatever it takes to keep your kids in school and get the point across as to how important education is. Jennifer thinks it's ridiculous to publicly humiliate your children. It's going to teach them nothing. They'll just be sneakier next time. Patty says, I think that's awesome. Non-physical yet effective. And finally, Terry, good for you, Mom. Tell us what you think. Go to Fox 45 Dayton on Facebook. Jack and Deborah.